if you're just joining us, this is bout 25, which is the Inhuman League, facing off against Tyne and Fear for the third place playoff. This is all of the Cup League. And I'll have Vince joining me shortly, will be Bulldog. And we're set up on the line. And the whistle's blowing and we are underway. Looks like battling through from the front for Tain and Fear. It is Dark Matter and he makes it through to pick up Lead Jammer. Okay, right now, looks like we'll see the bit of trouble at the front for Jerry actually to get through, but he makes it. Hits the pack once again, looking to break through. Tough wall of three from Tyne and Fear sends him crashing to the inside. He flips round and he's coming back. He is through. not going to get in there in time. Nothing for time in fear. The Inhuman League at 20 points. Looks like number 82, Dog, jamming for Tyne and Fear. Tyne and Fear in the white and the Inhuman League in the black. And I believe that is Omar Gerd jamming for the Inhuman League as soon as I can see him clearly. Yes, that is him. OMG, Omar Gerd getting around Chemical. Chemical putting up a fight, but Lee Jammer goes to Omar Gerd of the Inhuman League. Dog battering his way past Benny Lagosi and Rolo Sapien to get out of the pack, but here comes Omar Gerd into his pack on a scoring pass. Yep, Omar Gerd makes it right the outside, calls off the jam. It's a Pseudo tight. Pseudo Nim, number 333, jamming for Tyne and Fear. And in just a moment, we'll tell you Nuke. Nuke jamming for the Inhuman League. Nuke gets up to the front, runs into a three wall. That's Porgy Bear and uh, Porgy Bear reanimated GIF. Were, uh, more than a woman and uh, one other skater. Chemical up front. And he, they get their jammer pseudo Nim. Uh, that's for tying in fear. But Nuke still running through the pack, still trying to get out on his initial pass. Up front, reanimated Giffen Chemical can't hold him in. Nuke gets out, completes his initial pass, but here, here comes on a scoring pass. It's pseudo Nim breezing through the pack. Stuntman Psych trying to catch him, but it's going to be four points for Tyne and Fear. They are on the board. This one is underway, and it looks like Tyne and Fear making a play for Lee Jammer. Dark Matter pulls it. Ooh! 4-1-8 for Inhuman League, sent crashing to the ground. Jarvis Blocker is still working his way through the pack, up to the front, behind Gay Fox. Gets forced to the side by Porky the Penetrator, but here comes the kind of fear, jammer, dark matter, up to the front, rounding turn three, stuck behind Benny Lugosi and dug his grave, but gets through, completes it for four points. Yep, both jammers free from. Oh, and it looks like Barnabash sent to the sin bin from Tain and Fear, putting them one down, one already in the sin bin, so they are now going to start the next jam, two members shy. Oh, 
Dogs head to the outside, recycled back to the back. All the while, Irma Gerd battling through the front. He makes it, he picks up Lee Jammer. And reanimated Giff heading through the penalty box for tying in fear. Omar Gerd working his way around. Do uh, Dog still working his way through his initial pass. Stuck behind stuntman Syke and SD Dino. Moves to the outside, getting battered by Jerry Atrick. Jerry Atrick holding him in place. Now Balak Obama getting in front of him. All four of the Hidden Human League blockers in front of Dog. And here comes Omar Gerd getting through. Gets all five points. Grand slam for the Inhuman League. Dog finally shaking off geriatric and Balak Obama to get out of his initial pass, but on his second pass, Omar Gerd coming in a third pass. Omar Gerd calling it off just as he exits the pack. All right, pseudonym number 333 for Tynan Fear, getting out quickly, getting past Benny Lugosi, jamming for the Inhuman League. It's Beat Monkey. Beat Monkey knocked down by Guy Gay Fox. Gets up to the front, Chemical takes him down, and now through the pack on his scoring pass, Pseudonym weaves a path through the pack and gets out all five points for Tyne and Fear. Beat Monkey just getting out of the pack on his initial pass, but a full lap ahead of him, Pseudonym making his way into a second pass, but, call, but calls it off before he gets in there. No points on that second pass, so five to zero jam for Tyne and Fear. Right, Dark Matter jamming for Tyne and Fear against Geriatric. Geriatric moving into the two wall. It's a stunt. This is more than a woman in Chemical. Gets out for lead jammer, but right behind him, Dark Matter gets, gets away from Jarvis Blocker. Now, Balak Obama going to the penalty box, as well as Jarvis Blocker. That's going to leave only one inhuman league blocker. That's Roller Polar Bear against two Tyne and Fear blockers. And did I speak too soon? Chemical also going to the penalty box. This is just, I think there were only two blockers left on the track that were, didn't owe penalties. <laughs> Titan and Fear in the white, the Inhuman League in the black. And of course, this is, the, this is for third place in the Men's European World Derby Championship. Number 82, Dog jamming for Titan and Fear against number nine, Nuke. Dog getting out of the pack first for lead jammer. And Nuke sent to the penalty box. I believe that was a back blow, but no, the referee re directing him back onto the track. He went to the penalty box by mistake. So that is a technical error. He's going to come in on his initial pass, but Dog taking advantage of that. Now moving in on a scoring pass and goes through the pack easily. The pack very sparse, very spread out. No one even able to make contact with him. That's a grand slam. Nuke now completing his initial pass, but Dog a complete lap ahead of the Inhuman League jammer. Now coming in for a second pass, Dog gets easily gets past Doug is grave, but gets caught by Benny Lugosi in the front. Reanimated gift for Tyne and Fear, taking out Nuke, Nuke, drawing him back all the way to the top of turn two. Dog completing his second scoring pass. Four points now, did not lap Nuke. Nuke and he were on the same pass, just a one lap behind. Only, but now Nuke completing his first scoring pass, four points. Already 10 points in the hole for Tyne and Fear. Here comes Dog on a third scoring pass. And he gets four more points for Tyne and Fear, but Nuke matching those four points on his second pass. So still Dog one lap ahead of the Inhuman League jammer. Now both hitting the pack neck and neck. Gay Fox and Kemic Al holding back Nuke, and time runs out on the jam. The Omar Gerd jamming for the Inhuman League and Dark Matter jamming for Tyne and Fear. Tyne and Dark Matter knocked out of bounds by Roller Polar Bear, but Roller Polar Bear went out of play and Dark Matter was able to come back in clean. Gets through the pack, but Omar Gerd already lead jammer and now moving in on a scoring pass. And leaps across the infield, a big jump and gets past all three of the Tyne and Fear blockers. They're giving him a round of applause. That was a very impressive jump. Looks like we have a reanimated GIF in the penalty box for Tyne and Fear. I believe that is Pseudonym jamming for Tyne and Fear. I haven't cut, oh, that's a, D Doug is Grave, J the team captain jamming. Yes, that is Pseudonym, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And Doug is Grave jamming for the Inhuman League. Pseudonym already out, catches lead jammer. Doug is Grave up to the front. Yeah, oh, forces his way past the filth, number 999. 
to complete his initial pass. Pseudonym hitting the pack on a scoring pass. Battered by Jarvis Blocker, but squeezes pass, but stumbles going into turn three. And now falls to the ground on the infield. I believe Andy did call off the jam from the ground. Two points for both jammers. Number 82, Dog, jamming against number 808, Beat Monkey. Beat Monkey forced to the inside. Now crosses to the outside, but gets... But stumbles behind more than a woman, but now Chemical using his teammate Bob Bomb to knock to knock Beat Monkey to the infield and then drops back to draw to force the, the, the recycle. Beat Monkey avoiding the cut now up to the front of the pack. Chemical guarding the outside more than a woman on the inside. And Dog gets out first for Lee Jammer for tying in fear. Beat Monkey still trying to get around Kemic Al. Kemic Al relentless, but finally squeezes past him and gets a cut. It's going to be a power jam for Tynan Fear. Dog, number 82, on a scoring pass is Lee Jammer and on the power jam. At the front of the pack, he's being held up by uh, that is Jerry Atrick. Jerry Atrick, one of the fiercest blockers for, that I've seen for the Human League today. But Dog finally gets past when a geriatric gets sent to the penalty box. Now Dog completing that scoring pass, now moving in on a second scoring pass, and uh, uh, this is still a power jam. Gets through a second time for a grand slam. And another player to the penalty box. It's more than a woman, double zero. Or is that more than a woman, ooh? I believe it is. <laughs> this is uh, the third scoring pass on this power jam. So racking up some points for Tyne and Fear. Dog falling off the jam as Beat Monkey stands up in the penalty box. The Inhuman League will not be able to field a press jam. I was looking around myself. <laughs> but the uh, Tyne and Fear with, on the power jam and with a one blocker advantage. Reanimated Gift easily getting past Jarvis Blocker and dug his grave to complete his initial pass and claim lead jammer. Beat Monkey coming out of the penalty box for in the Inhuman League. Completing his initial pass, but reanimated gift giving chase. It's already completed his first scoring pass. Four points did not quite get Beat Monkey's lap point, but reanimated gift into the pack. Clobbers, Clobbers dug his grave and completes his second scoring pass. This time he gets five points. Beat Monkey coming through. This is his first scoring pass. Four points. Reanimated gift coming around again. Four more points for Tyne and Fear. A 13-point jam to a four-point jam for Beat Monkey of the Inhuman League. Omar Gerd bursting through the back. Catching, I think catching Tyne and Fear off guard a little bit. Porky, the, the, the penetrator, was actually helping his jammer. Oh, no, Omar Gerd to the penalty box. So it's another power jam for Tyne and Fear. Dark Matter moving in on his first scoring pass. Trying to sneak through, but Stuntman Sight guarding the outside. Gets around Ball of Obama. Benny Lagosi makes contact with Dark Matter, able to get through. A grand slam for Tyne and Fear. First one of this power jam. Coming through again. Dodges past Benny Lagosi. Benny Lagosi unable to make contact this time. And another five. Ten points so far. A huge shoulder check from Porky the Penetrator. He sends Paula Obama. He actually caught air. I think he's giving up about a foot on Paula Obama, but he actually took him off his skates. Pajama for Inhuman League is on his feet, ready to go. Whistle's blown. He's been released. Jam is underway. Omar Gerd out of the penalty box and into the four blockers for Tyne and Fear. Kemic Allen reanimated gift holding the line, but Omar Gerd able to sneak through the inside lane. Dark Matter in the penalty box for Tyne and Fear. So this is a power jam for the Inhuman League. And a four wall of Tyne and Fear. Omar Gerd able to break through the center. The filth and Kemic Allen unable to pull him back in. It's a grand slam for Omar Gerd. Second one of, well, no, first one of this jam, sorry. Coming through again, Omar Gerd bounces off a hip check from Kemic Al, and now Kemic Al actually going through the penalty box. That drops Tyne and Fear down to two blockers, but the Inhuman League matching that, so it's two on two in the pack. Omar Gerd coming in on another scoring pass, third scoring pass, Dark Matter coming out of the penalty box, 
around the outside of Jerry Attrick and completes his initial pass. But now 15 points for the Inhuman League. And Dark Matter coming in for his first scoring pass. Omar Gerd easily goes through an almost empty pack and completes the pass. Thank you very much, Bulldog. Greatly appreciate you standing in for me. Right, we're back on for this jam. Nuke up jamming for Inhuman League. Dog up for time and fear. And Dog right there being sent to the penalty blocks. I believe that was a high block major he's been sent off for. Power dram in favor of Inhuman League. Over the course of this tournament, I've been informed that each team will have skated the equivalent of from here to Peru. That's incredible. It's a lot of miles. It's that stat man with his amazing stats. Stat man with amazing stats. Fantastic. After that, you need to clean your bearings, eh? Oh, yeah. I've seen some of the stuff they've been cleaning off the track during, or well, between matches rather, and yeah, you're going to want to clean your bearings. And it looks like Nuke right through the full Grand Slam, five points picked up. Of course, being a power jam for the Inhuman League. Tain and Fear doing what they can to hold back Nuke from getting any further points and extending that differential. Scores as he stands, 76 to Tain and Fear, 89 to the Inhuman League. Goes off the jam. Full bank of blockers on. I believe that might be, oh my god, pushing, pushing, pushing against those blockers. Certainly is. Irma Gerd through, picking up Lee Jammer. Bob Obman reanimated Giff managed to hold him for quite a while there at the front, but not quite long enough to prevent him from getting Lee Jammer over Dog, who was still in the box. And it looks like Dog is through on his initial pass. Irma Gerd recycled to the back and joins the track to meet Dog, and at that point, calls off the jam. Porky, who's been throwing some seriously hefty hits. M majority of the time legal, but sometimes they're just just coming off, just on the cusp. On the cusp. Yeah. And it looks like we're off and underway in this. I believe that to be Captain Doug his Graves speeding by on the outside. Chemical with a strong frontal offense sends him crashing to the outside. Dark Matter is through, but he is not lead, it would appear. Doug his Graves picks up Lee Jammer, calls off the jam. Yeah, Chemical for time fear managed to take Doug his Graves off the track. Looked really, really happy about it. Both of them realised that uh, Dr. Graves managed to pick up the lead German as he passed him. This was blowing around the way. Who does that look like German for the Inhuman League? Oh, it's a hard knock. It is Jarvis Blocker. He's facing off against, I believe that's reanimated GIF for Time and Fear. It is indeed GIF is through. He picks up Lee German. Goes for a leap but doesn't quite pull it off. Calls off the jam. Of course, this match here is the uh, bout for to decide third place in this tournament. Um, the winner of this match will go on to play third place. My apologies, mistaken. Doug is great getting lead jammer there for Inhuman League on this jam. Pseudo women through, through the pack going to try and uh, pick up some points. Unsuccessful. Um, and Human League coming. Wow. Oh, we're up and we're underway. Tain and Fear Jammer to the inside. Ermergaard speeds through, picks up. Lee Jammer for the Inhuman League. And it's Dark Matter jamming for Tain and Fear. He is now free from the crowd. He's away. And Ermergaard is scoring pass, spins past, calls it off. Looks like he's possibly picked up four points in that one. This is blowing the under there. Jammer's leaving the space. Oh, and it looks like Dog is fighting his way through. Oh no, it's Sudowin. Jamming for Tain and Field. Battling through. Rolo Sapien and uh, Tommy's Grave doing a great job holding him up the front. Ooh. Nuke through for the Inhuman League. Looks like. And Nuke is Lee Jammer. Yep. But hold on, his heels is Sudowin. Doesn't look like there's any considerable advantage being gained here. Give me a little nudge. Goes off the jam, speed to his hips through, trying to pick up some points. Tyne and Fear fans equally getting behind their team now though. Oh, and it looks like 
Rianne Turn makes a gift. With Lee Jammer. Looks like that little chant there at the start managed to get the job. Geriatric Jammer for the end human league. Speeding through the pack, but already through and is scoring pass for Tain and Fear. Colors off the jam. I believe that might be Beat Monkey for uh, yeah, Human League. Like. Starting to recognize those floppy locks hanging out of his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dog straight to the front, but held back considerably by the pivot and a blocker. Oh, pushed the outside, but he is through and he picks up a lead jammer. Beat Monkey in close pursuit, also now free of the pack. Quite a loose pack we've got there over right on the over right in turn four. Big hits being thrown. Dog calling that jam from the floor. There's been a lot of really fast packs. Um, jammers catching up. Jammers just calling it dead. Yep. This jam is underway. Most likely to be the last jam of this half. Oh, trouble around the outside. Jammers struggling to get through. Oh, and it looks like Irma Gerd for the Inhuman League sent back into the sin bin. Even dark matter for Tain and Fear battling through a tough wall of black in the form of the Inhuman League. Struggling to get through. Obama. Oh, seven foot tall of him holding back dark matter, but he passes. He is through. Benny Lagusi and uh, Jarvis Block are doing a good job of bridging in there, helping him to stretch out that distance that he was able to block. And Dark Matter hits a pack once again. The intimidating force of Obama coming down upon him. He's going left, he's going right. Does he pick the inside? It does and it works. And again, manages to get past, but they hold him for just that little bit that could make the difference between a 15-point score um, jam and a 20-point jam. Yeah, absolutely, full five points picked up yet again. Grand slams are plenty for Dark Matter, and he passes once more to get another full five points. Remember, Tain and Fear sent to the sin bin, currently two members of the Inhuman League in the sin bin. Bit of a numbers advantage on track for Tain and Fear, who also are holding the power jam. Absolutely. This is the kind of jam that could make a significant difference to the tilt of this gameplay. You could see a very, very different second half. Oh my god, making his way out of the sin bin. Big, big hit taking at Dark Matter off his feet. Dark Matter got up with a smile on his face there. Eh? Ooh, looks for the space, takes it around the outside, but denied by that wall of black, battling through. Ooh, 462 attempts to hold him back, but almost an eight of bounds. Dark Matter is through and calls. And does he call off the jam? Yep, he does call off the jam. this first half and wow power jams we've said it before we'll say it again they make and win, make, win and lose matches right now we've got in human league on 103 points time of fear now on 105 if you are having a drink at home it is time to take a shot because that right there is a lead change Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this second half of this match between the Inhuman League and Tyne and Fear. We've got a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, sorry, before we start the second half. Um, of course, just a reminder, the score sitting 103 for the Inhuman League and 105 for Tyne and Fear. Still incredibly close, 30 minutes to go. This could go either way. Both teams playing really strongly. Um, some amazing blocking, some incredible jamming, and we are off. Doug is grave jamming for the Inhuman League. Uh, Dark Matter jamming for Tyne of Fear. Knocked, Dark Matter's knocked Doug is grave off, taken him back. Always interesting to see it when the jammer gets recycled. Hadn't seen it much before today, but seen it so many times today. Jammers recycling jammers. And that's a good point you've raised, but I can confirm for you that the amount of skating done today actually reaches from Birmingham to Norwich. Wow. Nice yeah. stats. Good start. That's a, approximately 135 miles worth of skating total. You've got to have a lot of respect for these guys. I couldn't do it. Not entirely sure what's, uh, what's occurring. Right, I see. 
Dug his grave there, still sitting, waiting for Dark Matter to come back round so he doesn't have to go all the way behind him. Looked like Dark Matter was probably trying to uh, lead him into an eat the baby. That was an interesting tactic to play there, and that's straight off the bat in the start of the second half of game 25. Knocked to the inside, recycled, returns to the back. Dark Matter taking a lot of hard knocks here. All the while, Dug his grave through. On his scoring pass now, slips past the outside. Ooh, a bit of a nasty crash, but he is okay. Dark Matter now, oh, and the jam is called up. Poise ready to go, the whistle is blowing. Looks like we're gonna see Dog jamming for time and fear. And for the Inhuman League, Irma Gardner takes a spell over Porky. Dog through the middle, picks up Lee Jammer. Looks like Irma Gard for the Inhuman League sent to the sin bin. I believe that was a forearms penalty that Irma Gard um, has incurred and he will serve that minute. Power jam here. Dog fighting at the front, he's got two to beat, he's got one to beat. We're seeing a lot of this frontal blocking, denying a passage through, making it very, very awkward. Dog not wishing to commit a penalty at this point, really playing it. Nimble skates by the outside, he is through. Five points, the Grand Slam, folks. Got geriatric Benny Lugosi and Beat Monkey uh, blocking now, trying to hold back. Dog. Tenant Fear Pack holding back. Haven't seen Dog blocking much this tournament. He's been a really strong jammer. Uh, um, inhumanly, maybe mixing things up a little bit here. Obama back on track now. Yep, Dog once again finding himself in the same position in frontal blocking, denying him. He takes takes the effort to lean it out to the inside and out to the outside, which which works for him. He gets the points. He's through. Five more points. The jam is called off. Strong chance from the crowd sending support over to the team as this jam kicks off. And it looks like animated GIF is through to pick up Lee Jammer. Doug his grave team captain of the Inhuman League, languishing at the back of the pack. He just can't find a way through. Kemi Cow and 9 11 mark time out. Animated GIF finds his way through. He's got Roller Polar to beat, which he does. Yeah, Doug is great, managed to take down Forks there. Still fighting hard against Chemical and Filth. It's a pretty strong wall that Tyne Fear put up on this jam. You said it, Snuggins. That was tough stuff there to get past and through. And it looks like Animated Gift calls off the jam. Tyne Fear picking up nine points in that jam, making it 104 Human League still on that one. 129 to Tyne Fear. Muscles blowing, but oh, a spill for the jammer who hits the deck. Tyne and Fear. Jammer back up on his feet, the Inhuman League's Jammer languishing behind him too. Both struggling to find a way through at this point. Obama masterfully holding back his own Jammers to make sure that they block Tiny Fierce Jammer, who is up, who is Sudoon. Sudoon is up and through. He just can't want to beat. Oh, he's been masterfully marked to the outside where he falls down. Geriatric Jammer for the Inhuman League also looking to battle on through, which he does, and he picks up the lead Jammer. So the women now through the pack, no doubt going to try and uh, close that gap. Does not get the chance. Made a couple of notes during half time. Some jam, some blockers had uh, about three majors. More importantly, I believe that is dog for the time of fear with the lead jammer status. Oh my God! For inhumanly chasing him down. Yep, no jammer in it. Distinct advantage yet with this position. Lead jammer has been given to time and fear, but it's so close that there's not a lot he can do with it. I'm guessing. Whistles blowing are underway, but it's a slow, slow start at this point. It looks like Nuke for the Inhuman League is battling to find his way through. Dark Matter recycled through from the inside. Oh, a crash and thud that we could feel right here on the desk. Nuke is through, however, picking up a lead jammer. Nuke there takes a big hit from more than a woman, and Porky still managed to break through to get lead jammer status. And it does appear that Dark Matter jamming for Time of Fear has incurred a back block major. He'll spend a minute in the box. Um, nuke in Human League, lit power jam. Wow. It's so exciting, we cannot keep up with this. But it is indeed a power jam to the Inhuman League. Nuke's got it in the palm of his hand. This is the sort of jam that could turn this around. 
absolutely. The Inhuman League still very much in this. Not too far behind on points. Power jam is where it's at. Another full five points for the Inhuman League as Nuke continues to circle the track. Like a points vulture. Nuke there calling that jam that makes the tactical decision to call it off, start fresh, new fresh jammer. It appears that uh, Nuke incurred some kind of penalty. We think it might have been skating out of bounds just before, just after the jam was called. So we've got a jammer switcheroo. Tyne and Fear starting with a power jam now. Dark Matter, fresh from the box, lead jammer status. Yeah, this is interesting because both jammers were, of course, active in the previous jam, but due to penalties, have been forced to both come back out in a real situation and compete in this jam. This one, of course, benefiting Tyne and Fear as Dark Matter continues now to circle the track on his own power jam. Dark Matter making it round the outside, and he does masterfully. Picking up another full five points of Grand Slam. Yep, and this one is on the way. And you folks at home can't see this, but as Snuggins was trying to present the score to you, it kept changing on the scoreboard. That was incredible tricky to deal with. Anyway, there we go. Dog jamming for Tiny Fear, makes it through, picks up the lead jam. And it looks like we're now seeing an inhuman lead jammer on track. I think that's still Nuke on there. Yep, that's Nuke out from his power jam. Oh, chemical Al big, big to hit. the ground with a deafening thud. Dog stuck at the back of the pack. Nuke stuck at the back of his group of weight. It's tough times to be a jammer out there. Chemical doing the uh, the back controller there. Back controller, my apologies. Um, Obama trying to take him out. Big hip check. But it looks like Dog is through. Picking up the full five points. Nuke still trying to fight his way through that solid wall of white Tyne and Fear blockers. It looks like some pack support in the form of Obama has come down to draw off those blockers, perhaps creating a window for Nuke to get through. Now Dog has joined the fray. Down at turn four, it's all kicking off. And it looks like Nuke is finally through on his initial pass. And the jam, oh, Chemical. the jam pre continues. Chemical and Forks for Tyne of Fear. Um, sitting in the box, I believe it was a direction of gameplay penalty. With blockers in the box, there will be a pack advantage to Inhuman League. I don't know if you can uh, pick this up on the mics that we're using here. But the, um, the Inhuman League have got a serious chant. It's one person somewhere in the crowd will chant Inhuman, and everyone else comes out with a. <gasps> it's. Deliverance has mentioned it before, it's, it's literally spine tingling, and it kind of reverberates around the room. We've also had a couple of people starting off a time fear that somebody will shout, Time fear, time fear. It's amazing seeing people get behind these teams like this. Timeout is finished and we are back on with this jam. It's like the pack moving forward to the GB EMS pivot line. GB EMS being our emergency medical services provided today. For the, the only official ruler Derby EMS recognised service. Oh, and looks like we're underway with Irma Gerd speeding past turn one, gets up and turn two continues. He holds lead jammer. Hot on his heels is reanimated Gif. Both jammers free from the pack. That was literally poetry in motion. This is now going to be a power jam for Oh My God. Cut track major for Tyne and Fear means that Rianne Manny Gift, thank you very much, is going to spend one full minute in the box on what's going to be a rather tiny little power jam. Trying to push past Chemical now. Yep, Nook two to beat because three are in the sin bin. He is through, he picks up the lead jammer, and it looks like the jammer for Tyne and Fear, which of course is reanimated Gift, is now at the back of the pack also on his initial pass. Nuke on a scoring pass, held back by Chemical. Oh, and reanimated gifts through, and now returns to hit his scoring pass. Massive, massive hits from uh, Douglas Grave and Obama. Not quite enough to stop um, reanimated gift. Also blowing around the way once again. It looks like we're gonna see. Oh, it's a tough one on the outside for Tyne and Fierce Jammer. 
but oh, he makes it through. Dark Matter picks up Lee Jama, Irma Gerd in a hot pursuit. Ooh, and Dark Matter is down. Oh, wow. Um, oh, my God, there for Inhuman League getting sent to the penalty box for a blocking out of play major, which means Dark Matter is going to enjoy a power jam right now. I think we can probably say goodbye to that 12 point lead. <laughs> that is safe to say. Five points picked up there on that pass by Dark Matter. And those blockers trying, but Dark Matter is one very talented jammer. He passes once again and net another five points. Three skaters, two skaters, I beg your pardon, in the sin bin for. In Human League, 158 points, Tyne of Fear, 161. No, no, not all, not all. I just heard this. This was blown around the way, what's going to happen? We've got Dog battling geriatric at the front, both very well respected players in men's roller derby. But he is through, he has picked up lead jammer. This, of course, is a power jam for Tyne and Fear. Obama rejoining the pack for In Human League, back, off the, back from the bin. Bridging there for Geriatric and Douglas Grave. And Human League doing a fair old job of holding back the jammer. Looks like Oh my God is back on track, fighting now against the filth. Yep, he breaks round the outside. That, of course, was his initial pass, so no points needed as yet for the End Human League. Dog swings through, swings the booty forward, calls it off. Jam is on. Pseudo women jamming for Tyne and Fear. Yep, we're going to see Nuke there jamming for the Inhuman League. Trapped at the back is Pseudo in him. Battles through at the front. He's just got two to beat. He's on the outside. He has picked up a lead jammer. As we hit turn four, Nuke is stuck in the pack at this point, trying to break out himself. Ooh, hard head takes him down to the ground, but he's up and out. All the while, it looks like Tyne and Fear Jammer trapped behind three Inhuman League members. Yogi Bear and Forks for Tyne and Fear being sent off there. Didn't quite catch what the penalty, thing, penalty was. I believe it was a multiplayer block. Um, that's going to leave Tyne and Fear quite short on the track with their blockers. 158 for Inhuman League now, 171 for Tyne and Fear. This was blowing around their way, a lot of tussling on the jam line. Who's going to break through first? It looks like, oh, recycled to the back is Irma Gerd. Battling at the front, Dark Matter. We've seen a lot of him so far. Irma Gerd struggling again with Kenny Kyle putting them back, recycling them. Dark Matter to the front, taking on the wall. Looking for that elusive space all the way. Irma Gerd coming up at the back. Both jammers are through. Looks like it was Dark Matter managed to get the uh, lead jammer status there. That was very, very close. Oh my God, it's practically on him. Chemical and reanimated gift managing to take Oh my God off the track and recycle him back. Gives Dark Matter a better time to get through and pick up some more points. Armour Guard spinning around and his wheels manages to keep his focus after two 360s through the pack. I think I'd probably have given him a 6.5 for that one. Ooh, Dark Matter calls off the jam. This was blown around the way. It looks like we're going to see Dog jamming for Tyne and Fear. He's battling through at the front, but Dog his grave for the Inhuman League. Tremendous ability through in the outside. Lead jammer. Full bank of Tyne and Fear blockers on the track. Looks like we've only got uh, Royal Polar Bear and what I think might be Sam Droid. It looks like reanimated Giff is going to be jamming now for Tyne and Fear. He's done some great, great work in this bout today. He really has. And we're seeing Nuke for the Inhuman League sent crashing to the outside. Giff manages to stay on focus, nips past on the inside to pick up a lead jammer. Nuke there doing a lovely little fake out, slip past Chemical. Not lead jammer, but is making up pretty good time on this lap. Give through once more. Picking up four points on that pass. 
Nick looking to pass. Oh, is he going to go to the inside? He's stuck behind Kemi Kalal, and that ain't an easy person to get past. Turns for a bit of frontal blocking, but he is through. Four points picked up by Nuke. Four also by reanimated Geff. Oh, Kemi Kalal using his blocking team to knock other blockers out of the way. Creates an excellent space for Geff to pass through. Blockers behind left, right, and centre. Nice little jump there, just on the corner. Nuke getting past Chemical. Ooh, a tough crash land there. Gift decides to call it off. <laughs> Looks like we've got dark matter jamming for Tyne and Fear now. Breaks through the pack for lead jammer status. While Geriatric still fighting his way through. Big hits from more than a woman, but Douglas Gray managed to take more than a woman off the track to make some space. Yep, Dark Matter round now on a scoring pass, looking to make his way through that league. It just don't look possible. There's just too many black shirts staring him on down. All the while, Geriatric battles past Kemi Kalal, takes you outside the long route, but it pays off and he is through. That is his initial pass done. Now it's all about the points. Points I'm sure Dark Matter would like to see, but he's sent to the inside and calls off the jam. Whistle's blowing, we're underway with this jam. It's a tough, tough push from the back. No distinct advantage been given yet, but animated gift by the looks of it, really hammering it to get through, and he is through. Oh, and it looks like Irma Gert sent to the sin bin for the Inhuman League. Power jam. Oh, Giff tries to force his way through, but is sent crashing down to the inside. Recycled to the back of the pack and makes his way once more. As we lose another member of Tyne and Fear sent to the sin bin. And made it Giff bound by on the inside. Oh, and he's grounded once more. Looks like an elbow was called there on Roller Polar Bear and he's sent to the sin bin. Giff gets up, returns to the back of the pack once more, looking to make this. Pack support there. He's Time. pushing Nuke. Looks like he is through. Tyne and Fear making sure that they wall up right behind in Human League. Um, they don't want to risk at all if their jammer gets taken off. They don't want to have to be recycled all the way back. Looks like Giff threw a fakey there. Suggested he was going to go to the outside, but Hud Middle and is now pushed to the outside. And out of bounds has been called as Tyne and Fear pull back the line. Keeping the play stuck on turn two of the track. Giff is rounding through. And it looks like we're going to see the jammer for the Inhuman League. Ermer Gerd returning to track. Straight up against that very hard wall of Tyne and Fear blockers with Forks, bob -omb, and more than a woman. They are st oh, they're so tight, those three. The jammers stand ready for Tyne and Fear waiting on Ermer Gerd, who swings on through with the greatest of ease to pass by, picks up four points on that one. Animated Giff languishing in the pack for some length of time. Calls off the jam. Tyne and Fear have done it, they've broken the double century. In Human League now 176, Tyne and Fear 213 points. Recognise the height of that jammer anywhere, that is clearly dog jamming for Tyne and Fear. And it's of course Captain Dougis Grave from Inhuman League fighting against that wall of white at the front. A bit of captain on captain jamming by the looks of it here for the Inhuman League in Tyne and Fear. But it would appear that Dog has pulled out with lead jammer status. Dougis Grave not letting away with an easy slides past on the inside. Both jammers hit the pack. Oh, and the jam is called off. Couldn't get much closer. Oh, and a space is found by Dark Matter in a matter of seconds. He is through. Beat Monkey, no such luck, struggling to get by on the outside by two strong, confident Tyne and Fear blockers. But he's through now on the inside. And Dark Matter once again hitting the pack now and he's scoring pass. Trouble at the front is, oh, but he makes it. And he is through to pick up four points. Beat Monkey very cleverly there, spotting that Kemikal had taken him off the track. 
managed to spot who it was that taken him off, comes on behind, didn't get back on that track standing. It's a lot of tussle as we head into turn two at this point. Stuntman Sykes sent to the outside. Dark Matter makes it through. Looks like a full five points netted there for Tyne and Fear. Beat Monkey finding it difficult to get past this cohesive working Tyne and Fear defence. Oh, Tyne and Fear jammer is down but not out. He gets back up, shakes it off, skates on. Beat Monkey really struggling to get past that wall of forks, chemical, and more than a woman. Some fabulous anchor blocking shot being shown from them. Dark Matter recycled straight to the back of the pack as Pete Monkey finally makes his way through. Oh, it looks like he's been recycled behind animated GIF. Dark Matter way out and ahead with two to beat. The bounce is likely to be pulled. He's round the outside. He waves a cheeky goodbye and skates on his way. Irma Gerd cannot be happy about that one. Pete Monkey now looking at nothing but white shirts. A jump off the apex by Dark Matter. Unfortunately, falls to his knee, has to return back in behind Erin McGird, who has taken him all the way back to turn one. Looks like Dark Matter's got a power jam here. Uh, Beat Monkey being sent to the box for a cut track major. And that is all he wrote, ladies and gentlemen. That is full time on this match, um, as 176 points to the Inhuman League and 232 points to time for Leo. Ladies and gentlemen, the high fives are being done in Human yep. League, making their lap of honour. We would like to thank you so much for joining us for this for this bout. I've really enjoyed announcing it. The Inhuman League and Tyne and Fears bout. It was excellent to have what you can basically describe as a front row seat to some excellence. Absolutely. We will see you in the final. I've been Snoogans. I've been Hell Evidence. See you later. Hey, I'm Snoogans here, just been announcing this uh, third place match for the Men's European Roller Derby Championships. I'm here with Jerry Atrick from the Inhuman League and Kemma Cal from Tyne and Fear. Just want to have a quick word, guys. How was that for you? Insane, to be honest. Um, sweaty, hot, humid, tough, and awesome, unbelievably awesome. Fantastic game to watch. What about you? Uh, much the same. It's. Um it's the fourth time we've played in Human League, and uh, it gets harder every time. Uh, but it was so much love for them. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that was a really good game. If you're watching at home, that's it. That was a game of the weekend. That definitely in my top three. Um, I mean, was that as hard as you thought it was going to be? Harder. Um, after each game we've played has just stepped it up a new level each time. I think we've learned a lot each game we've played, and so have Tyne and Fear. So you couldn't say that the form from the previous games really counted for anything. We came into this tired from previous games. It's red hot in here. Um, it was tough. The crowd is insane, so there's so much energy. But um, yeah, harder, harder than I'd expected because I kind of thought, well, it's the last game. You know, everyone's going to be tired. It'll just be sort of relatively simple roller derby. It wasn't. I was just saying, like, Jerry, yesterday I was watching in Human League play uh, New World Order and they were bringing it. I haven't seen them play this well. For, well, this is the best I've seen you play. They were absolutely work. Yeah, they're bringing work. Yeah. Can definitely see that you guys have put the effort in. Now, can I get a prediction for the final? Oh, um, I would say Southern Discomfort. But honestly, this weekend shows anything could happen. There's been some major upsets. Obviously, I've got to go with the English team. I've got to go SDRD. But if the quad guys could play, out the bag. You know, it's, uh, it's unpredictable. It's been a fantastic weekend here. We've still got one more match to play. We thank you so much for being with us. Enjoy what's left of this. Thank you so much.